signing Michael McKindo. Whilst their other acquisition this week, Marcus Jones was on the bench. Boston included former Swansea, Cambridge and Notts County midfielder Paul Rayner and had plenty of league experience in their lineup. Having lost at Chester last week, Yeovil started tentatively and went close when Warren Patmore fed Nick Crittenden, who fired wide. Your commentator is Rob Walker. Wide to Piper. Piper with the long ball in, he's looking for Patmore. Well, it looked as though it was a mistimed cross, but in actual fact, Paul Baystock did well to palm that one away. And what a goal that would have been for David Piper. O'Brien and Piper fight for the ball. Rayner looks for Rawl, well defended by Skiverton. Belgrave, yet again, Patmore's in the middle, McKinnell's coming through, Warren Patmore, surely, and he's missed it! And the ball's still circulating, and the Yeovil fans are going absolutely berserk. Patmore went crashing to the ground, and they feel that that should definitely have been a penalty. Chris Wheels goal kick, he's managed to keep a clean sheet so far. The young keeper with quite some promise. Now then, Crittenden, all the big boys are in the box. Can he turn his man? He certainly can, that's a great shot. Straight to Paul Baystock. Well, Crittenden spent five years at Chelsea in his young days. He's even played a couple of Premiership matches, and when you see the way he turns and gets involved, it's no wonder. Three minutes left on the clock then in this first half, but with that long injury stoppage for Terry Skiverton early on, there's probably five or six minutes more to play in this first half, and it's Yeovil nil, Boston nil. Crittenden. He's made a superb effort to stay on the ball. Can they score? It's all over the place in the box. McKindo! He cost £25,000. Colin Addison bought him earlier this week. And how he repays his new manager. Well, it was Nick Crittenden who started that move off. He managed to stay on his feet. The ball went to base stop. It was all over the place. Came off everyone and McKindo was in an ideal position to finish it off. Paul's getting stuck in the mud down there. Belgrave racing with Gauchel. He's managed to get past him. And will that be a penalty? Yes, it will. Farrington Belgrave was brought down by Gauchel. He'd managed to round his man. They were having a tussle, granted. But he had managed to round him, and the referee made no hesitation in awarding a penalty to Yeovil. Baystock in the Boston goal. We'll be hoping he can save it. Betts comes in. Good finish. The Yeovil fans rise as Betts tucks away a very professionally taken penalty. Boston fans hold their breath. Well saved. Can he save the rebound? He's two saves. What a fantastic double save by Chris Wheel. The young keeper has come in for the suspended Tony Pennock and really pulled off two fine, fine saves. The initial shot came in from Costello. He parried that, and he managed to save the rebound as well. Well, nobody seems to know what's hit them. It came out of nowhere. And Chris Wheel, Chris Wheel was left standing on his line, not knowing what had happened. Well, the Oval fans were absolutely stunned by that. Mark Rawl came in for his 13th goal of the season to bring Boston back in touch. And there's the final whistle.
whistle, the Yeovil fans cheer. The late goal from Mark Rawl to bring Boston back within one was a scary moment, but with a first half goal from their new signing Mark McKindo and a second half penalty from Simon Betts, Yeovil's charge towards the Football League goes on and on. Another three points this afternoon, and Colin Addison's men are a step closer. It's Yeovil 2, Boston 1. Uh, we've shown great character, great resilience today, and uh, it's been an excellent. I think I feel an excellent performance and a, and a very, very good win for us, and three more points. Now you must be delighted. I mean, you spent a lot of money on Mike McKindo. The boys come on. He's scored on his debut, worked harder, and could do well for the rest of the season. Yeah, it's a very pleasing debut for for Michael, and uh, you know we've got a very talented player. You know, we've been trying to sign him since Christmas, but. Um, it was nice to see, nice to see him get out there and express himself, you know, within the framework of the team. And because uh, uh, it's been a big team effort today, and I, I don't um, like to single individuals out, but it was a pleasing debut. And I must contradict myself here straight away and say that the goalkeeper was outstanding as well. Young Wheelie, um, Chris Wheel is, is a very talented player, you know, making his debut. Young boy, uh, a lot of pressure on him today, but his, his, his attitude was first class. He got a wonderful temperament. And uh, obviously I was delighted with him. And we couldn't blame him for the goal. I mean, it took a, a big deflection. Looked as if it was going in the car park and took a thick engine and uh, ended up in the roof of the net. Belgrave had a fantastic game this afternoon. He was working so hard down the left and the right. I mean, you must be quite pleased with that. Well, he's, he's, he's had a little uh, sticky patch of late, you know. He's, he's desperate for a goal, Barrington, but um, his general play today was much better. He worked very hard, ran the channels held the ball up better, brought people into play and uh, yeah, it was a very, very good game for him.